What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model an interior design for an Apple Store in Revit. So I haven't done one of these kind of Revit gameplay tutorials where I take a topic and then model that in Revit so I guess uh, I, I kind of like those tutorials so I want to do one for interior design for an Apple Store so it's going to be a fun project but before we get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I of course suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials and these like Revit gameplay videos each week. Also, if you want to download the project file that I'm going to be creating in this video or any of my other Revit project files, over 300 files so far, I suggest you check out my Patreon, first link in the description of this video. Also, there I've got some advanced uh, Revit courses. I've got like 16 so far. They're all one hour long and I'm uploading one each week. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into modeling an Apple Store. So here, as you can see, I am in just the home page I'm going to go here and choose the architectural template now I'm using Revit 2019 but you can use of course any version of Revit even the latest one Revit 2020 okay here we go so I'm just going to go here to walls and let's go with the thickest one first uh, just the 300 and I'm just going to connect it to level 2 uh, here let's start modeling and of course it's in millimeters I don't like working in millimeters so I'm just going to type in UN for units change this to meters I find it the simplest to work in meters with two decimal places hit OK and there we go so I'm just going to do something like this it's going to be I guess 8 meters uh, long by let's go with 5 meters wide Okay, we've got this. I'm just going to select it. It's going to look from level 1 to level 2. Level 2 is, of course, uh, at 4 meters high as it is usually uh, with your default template. Okay, now let's go with a wall. So I'm just going to go here with another wall, but now I'm going to go with a curtain wall. Now, usually I go with the storefront wall because it has all of the mullions. So when you create it, it looks like this. It has all of those uh, mullions in place. But the Revit store, uh, Revit, <laughs> Apple stores usually have those kind of seamless uh, curtain walls with, or yeah, curtain walls, I guess, with no visible mullions. It's like glass up to glass. So I'm going to be modeling something like that. So I'm just going to go with a wall so I'm just going to go with exterior glazing because it basically comes without that and I'm going to start like half meter offset here flip it to the other side by hitting the space key ending it over here and as you can see it's got a, we've got a warning because we have a wall inside of a wall but it's quite easy to fix that you just go here to modify uh, you go to cut and you cut this with this and there we go this I'm just going to detach from level 2 go with unconnected and then let's just connect go unconnected height 3.2 meters okay going to 3d this is what that looks like i'm quite happy with this i'm just going to select one of these grid lines okay it's 1.8 meters i can live with that i'm just going to make this panel a bit shorter because that's where the door is going to be so i'm going to go here to architecture uh, curtain grid one segment just like that select that let's do it at 2.2.1 Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's high enough. Now let's insert a door. So I'm just going to go to insert load family. Here I'm going to go to doors. Let's go with something like this. Open that up. Select this. So I'm just hitting the tab key like multiple times un uh, until you get the panel. Once the panel is selected, you just open up the drop menu and go with that door that we've loaded in. Now it doesn't show any of those like handles, so you switch this to fine and now you have your handles. There we go. Okay. We've got this out of the way. Let's go back into level one floor plan. And yes, I'm going over this really quickly. If you want some slower tutorials and courses, I have some of those and I'm going to be leaving links to those in the description of this video. Okay, moving on. We've got the floor in place for now. Let's leave it as is. Now for this, these walls, the exterior ones, I'm for the basic generic one. I'm just going to go here into edit type edited and just change it to gypsum wallboard because that's white and I just want white walls for now. So just go with that one. Okay, apply. Okay. And for this wall, I'm going to be creating a new type. So just duplicate it, call it wood wall. 
So just on one side of this wall, I want to have a wooden layer. So I'm just going to move this up and let's call it finish. Let's go with 0.2 meter, 0 0.02 meters. That's like two centimeters. And let's go with wood. And for the wood material for walls like this, I like to use that siding. Where, where is it? Here we go. I like to use this one because it's really nice. Looks quite pretty. Okay. Okay, again, there we go. Now, if you go here and turn on 10 lines and turn on this to fine, you're going to notice that it's uh, facing the wrong side. So it's facing the exterior. Let's just flip it to the interior of this, uh, this project. So here we go. And if I go here into realistic, oh no, I went into retrace. Okay, uh, realistic, there we go. Now, as you can see, we've got that kind of nice wooden finish looks real good and quickly for the floor uh, I'm just going to do a quick finish let's just do for the whole floor material let's see what do we have here tile I like to do tile uh, huh what does this look like let's see come on yeah this looks quite fine let's go with that apply okay Derek oops okay I guess I didn't load that in I'm working too quickly here. Load it in. Apply. Okay. Okay. Apply. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we've got our uh, we've got our tile on the floor, and now it's time to do well the rest of the design. So I'm going to go here with wall. Uh, let's go with the 300. Go into edit type, duplicate this wall, and let's create a hundred millimeter wall. Hit OK. So this should be point 0.1. Okay, again. Oops, I named it 3000. Okay, 100. Okay, there we go. And then let's do a little room over here just like this. Okay, so this room should be one point. Let's go with 1.8 meters wide with two meters. Okay, I'm actually going to align it just to make it look all nice with this thing. So just AL is the shortcut for align. And now it looks kind of... I guess nice. Okay, let's go with a with a door, and I'm going to go with the smallest one. So let's say this is just some storage area for the store. Okay, that looks nice enough. Now I'm going to select this wall, go create similar, and create a similar wall over here. Now for this offset, I'm going to go with one meter, and here let's go with 0.6. Okay, so this is going to be like the seating area for the whoever's working here. And for this wall, let's go into edit type, duplicate. Let's call this, uh, let's call this, I don't know, store. And edit the material. Now, I want st still to have white material, but I want it to be like plasticky white. You know how they have it in their like uh, those bars or wherever they make the sale. So let's go with white. And then I think we have some plastic whites. Okay, here we go. We've got some plastic. It's going to have that glossy finish, which is what I'm looking for. So let's just load it in, hit apply. Did it just cancel out of that? Okay. Let's go again. White, plastic, there we go. Hit okay. Okay, again, and here I'm just going to set it to unconnected and for the unconnected height, let's go with one meter. There we go. So now if I go into 3D, it's going to look like this. Now we want to add just a little bit more to this. So I'm just going to select this wall and maybe this wall as well and hide those elements for now. Yeah, it's just going to make it a bit easier to work with. Now go to component, go to model and place, and I'm just going to go with a wall component just so I can easily attach it to the existing wall, even though this isn't really a wall, but uh, I won't tell anyone if you don't tell. So let's go with something like this and something like this. Let's delete this thing, go with trim and extend. TR is the shortcut. This side I want to be at 0.4 and this side at 0.6. Okay, that looks nice. Now for the offset extrusion end, let's go with 0.7, which is the correct height for like a seating area, maybe 75, 0.75, and this can be then 0.7. And when you hit apply and hit okay, there it is. And let's just change the material so it's this nice glossy white. So go here, there we go. Now let's go 
to our create extrusion. Let's set the work plane, pick a plane. Let's pick this top plane over here. Now go with a rectangle and go from this side to this. This should be like the like the bar where you can like, I don't know, stand and wait for them to take your money. And let's hit finish. Let's go with the same material. And here for the extrusion and let's go with zero. And for the start, minus 0.1 minus 0 0.05 perhaps. Yeah, looks a lot better. Hit finish and now just go here to join material and then you can actually join this thing with the wall and again with this wall and as you can see now it's kind of seamless and looks a lot better. And the clerk can stand over here and let's just exit out of temporary hide isolate. Okay, go back into level one. Let's load the chair so they can sit. So load family, go back a few floor folders, go to furniture go to seating okay chair 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 i like this one open that up and let's just rotate it just a tad so it looks a bit cooler okay so we've got the chair we've got like the selling area we've got the little storage area now let's do the actual like where the phones are going to be at so for that what I'm going to do is just go into level uh, one, go into component, model in place. Let's go with generic models. Okay, generic model. Let's go with the reference plane and place one just like this. Okay, I'm going to name it uh, just, uh, how are we going to name it? Let's go name it Apple. Okay, so we've got that Apple uh, reference plane. So I'm going to go here into south elevation. Now you can't see through glass in elevations, which is annoying. So I need to turn this into wireframe. And then what I'm going to do is just go to create extrusion, set the work plane to that Apple plane that we have. And now we can start creating this thing. So I'm going to go just like this, just an iPhone shaped rectangle. Then what you need to do is you need to create a central line just like this, just to help you out a bit. Oops. Uh, go back into modify, go with fillet, and let's fillet this edge a bit. Kind of like this. Create a line going to the other side. Yeah, that looks okay. Now I'm just going to select this, go here with the draw mirror, and pick this center point, mirror to the other side, and then I'm just going to go with trim and extend, trim this, and I think I can now delete the rest of this thing. Okay, and I can just select this, go with mirror pick axis and flip it to the other side. And I can just select this, delete it and hit finish. Now, as you can see over here, it used the same settings that we did uh, previously for the, the table thing. So I'm just going to go here into level one to set, it up, set that up in a better way. So let's do it something like this. Let's do it minus 0.3. Okay, so that looks uh, decent enough. Now let's go into 3D just to see what that looks like. Okay, let's change the material to that same white glossy material from plastic. Okay, that looks nice. Now let's just fill it to the edges. So for that you need to go here to void forms, void sweep, set work plane, pick a plane. Okay, pick this plane. Uh, let's turn off show plane. Okay, now I'm just going to go here to sketch path, go with pick lines, and then you just pick the edge of this thing just like that and then you go to the profile which is of course inconveniently positioned but who cares it's not that difficult and let me just switch this to hidden line it's a bit easier to see okay go here and just do something like this and then like this so you're kind of doing like a corner but then you fill it that thing just like that at point zero five and then just using trim and extend, you trim and extend this just like that. Okay, and you hit finish and finish again. And there we go. And now as you can see, this edge is filleted. So if I go into some realistic view, it's going to look really nice. Now let's try to mirror that to the other side. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's see right now. Let's go here with draw mirror. Go with... With point, it should be 0.15. Okay, just like that. Let's go down. 
Okay, and as you can see now it mirrored to the other side. Now let's select those to go into south. Now here into in this uh, south elevation we need to go to annotate, go with symbolic lines, go to, let's go to our apple. Uh, can we find the middle line? No, we can't. Okay, never mind. We're just going to have to do another sweep up here. So let's just switch to the other side, go to create, and I'm actually going to skip this just so I don't get too repetitive. And there we go with the magic of video editing, you've skipped that part, but you know how I did it anyway. So now let's go here and let's create the glass part. So I'm just going to go to set work plane, pick a plane and let's pick this plane. Then I'm going to go with extrusion. Let's go with pick lines and just pick all of these lines all around. Go with an offset of 0 0.05. So that's like five millimeters. Okay, we need another zero here. Or we can do maybe a one. Let's see, one centimeter. Okay, it's going to be too large. So let's go with five, zero five. Okay, now just go here. Let's try the tab key. Okay, of course it doesn't work. So we have to go all around manually, but it's not too annoying. And now if I hit finish, I can attach this up here and attach it down here. And let's just do the glass material. So just go with glass, there we go. And just to finish it all off, I'm going to go here to south elevation and let's do some shelves. So I'm going to go to create, extrusion, extrusion, let's turn this to glass as well. Just a simple rectangle, let's do one like this. Let's do it with a 0.5 offset, oops, 0 0.05 offset. Same thing on the other side, let's see, oops, 0 0.05, let's delete this dimension line, and for the thickness, 0 0.005, okay, that's the one, now just go with CO for copy, multiple, copy it once, like this, once again, like this, okay, that looks decent enough, let's maybe center this a bit, Okay, that looks good, like for the shelves, glass shelves, and here, can I see that? Okay, it's all the way here, so let's attach it just like this. Okay, and now if I go into 3D, that should look like that, and I really like the way this turned out, so now I can select it, go into level 1, and maybe copy it once off to the side over here, so that looks nice, I can select both of them, maybe make them a bit closer to the, to the actual like exterior of the store, and also I'm just going to select it, copy it, and copy it all the way here, maybe like attach it to the wall, so go to move and attach it over there. Now I can just array it over here, so I'm just going to go here to array, number, let's go with four, let's see what that looks like, and let's try it like this. Okay, for some reason it didn't work, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to copy it, maybe it's a bit simpler. So let's just uh, make sure that multiple is selected. So you copy it once here, once here, and yeah, I think that four is going to be like the exact number that we need. Maybe give it a bit of an offset from the walls. And I like the way this turned out. Okay, so let's add just a bit of furniture over here. So I'm just going to go to architecture, component, load family. I'm going to go back a few folders. Okay, go to seating. And I'm going to go with the Corbu chair as well as a Corbu sofa. Open those two up. Just hold the control key to load both. Place the chair over here and the sofa next to it. Let's find the sofa. Okay. Just like that. Maybe bring the chair up bit closer. Okay, and let's just do one table in the middle. So for the table, I'm just going to do it as a component. I'm going to save this thing later. So let's go component, model in place, go with furniture. Okay, okay, again. And now let's go with an extrusion. I'm just going to do a simple rectangle like this in the middle, fill it at the edges by the radius of 0.2 or 0 0.1. 0 0.1 meters, that's like 10 centimeters. So there we go. So this is going to be like that table in the middle, like where the computers are. 
and the let's do extrusion start should be at zero and extrusion end can stay at 75. Okay, so that looks good enough. So I'm just going to select that and switch it from glass to that plastic. Okay, let's go with this opaque white plastic, then go to create, go to extrusion, set work plane, and let's do the top, the, the top of the table like this. And now let's do proper offsets. So let's go with 0.5 meters here, 0.5 meters here. And on this side should be a bit longer. Let's go with 0.8. And on this side, we can do the same one. So 0.8. And let's fill it at the edges just because why not? And let's go with 0.2. That's like 20 centimeters not like that's exactly 20 centimeters okay so we're getting close okay finish that go into 3d okay the table is over here so this should be set to zero and extrusion end at 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.0 0 0.1 let's try 0.1 ah looks a bit better and let's change it from glass to wood and let's see what do we have I like to use birch wood so let's load that one and go apply okay there we go now we just need to do a an apple logo over here I want to do it on this table so for that I'm going to load in a family or load in a decal so just go here to insert you have this uh, uh, you have your decals okay first we need to finish the model okay now go into insert you have your uh, decals over here so you can place a decal, but first you need to load it. So you just go here, create a new decal. Let's call it new decal, who cares? Go to source, I've saved on my desktop, uh, desktop, an image. So it should be this one, open that up. Okay, yeah, it's an, an Apple logo. And then I can go here to go to architecture, set work plane, and let's pick a plane and let's pick this wall here. Then go back into insert decal and let's just place it like this. Okay, uh, these are kind of difficult to scale as you can see, but let's do it like this. Okay, let's say we've positioned it correctly. And now it's just a matter of quick spline. So component model in place, let's call it a generic uh, model. And uh, we're going to be using the same reference plane that we already set. So just go here to spline and just go all the way around. So you kind of go like that. So it's a bit difficult. Sp spline through points is a bit easier to work with. So you have to know basically how this thing works. But don't worry, once you finish the spline, you can always like edit it and can make some adjustments. So if I mess up somewhere, I'm of course always going to be able to make adjustments. And then finish here by going to arc, go there and complete it as an arc. Okay, and then if you want to fix some of these, you play around with these points. I think it's decent enough. Let's just do this thing. And this is going to be just two mirrored arcs. So just do one, select it, draw mirror, go from first point to second point, and then you're going to get that. And then for the extrusion start, zero extrusion end point zero four five, hit enter, and for the material, Glass sounds good, but I prefer wood. So let's go with wood, birch wood. There we go. Hit finish and it looks amazing. Okay, and it's okay, it's poorly visible. But if I delete this, there we go. It looks quite cool. Okay, and just one thing to finish off this Apple Store, and that's of course to add some computers. So I'm just going to go here to level one, go to architecture component, a load family. Let's go to my desktop. Here I've got three of these families. Open that up. Let's see, come on. Load in. Okay, and let's see. Uh, is this phase based? Let me just set the work plane to the table. Okay, I think it placed it on the floor. Let's go to south elevation. Here we go. Okay, let's bring it up here on the table. Okay, that uh, looks a lot better. And I think I've got a computer also, like a desktop computer. So let's see, where is that? 
MacBook, okay, and of course it's on the ground, south. Let's give it, I think it's like 0 0.8 then. 0 0.85, there we go. So let's just go like this and this I'm going to rotate to the other side. So let's say we want the desktop computers here and laptops here. And then I can select the laptop, maybe copy it multiple times. Same thing with that, the desktop, so copy, oops. Okay, we can have two desktops. Okay, there we go, so we've got these. We've got these things. Everything looks nice. Let's go into 3D, see what that looks like. Wow, looks like an Apple store. And let's just add the phones here, uh, uh, over here. So just go to component and I've got this iPhone and then of course it's going to be down here. But if I give it a point, I don't know, point 0.5 offset, let's see where it is. It's probably inside of this thing, of course. So let's go with 0.7. There we go. Let's go to south elevation. It's going to make it a bit easier on us and we can place it there and then you can go to I don't know, go to 3D and then you can play around, maybe copy it a few times. Can we array this? If I do like six, let me see. Last. There we go. So you can add phones as well and then we can select all of these go into south elevation go to copy and then you can hopefully let's see if i can select the glass and then uh, we can copy them up on all of the shelves and you can do it the same thing here on the other side go into 3d so that's what that's what that looks like Okay, so there we go. We've got our Apple Store completed. So if you want to download this project file and if you like how this thing looks, I suggest you check out my Patreon. Again, as I said, first link in the description. So thank you so much for sticking through this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. I hope it was fun. And of course, subscribe for a more uh, Revit tutorials. And if you want some advanced courses, again, that's on my Patreon. First link in the description. It's fifteen dollars a month, and it get and it gives you access to some amazing, like long duration one hour courses. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.